Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with UserTube. UserTube is a YouTube extension. I'm going to show you how it looks like on my website right now. This is my website and I am using the UserTube extension on my website. This is the full page user tube page if you add it to a menu you can choose a full page with a, a description on it the title of the youtube video and i've also added a module in the footer of the website and if you click here you can see new videos in the same playlist Now, how did I add this UserTube extension to my website? Now, first of all, I think you will you know how to install an extension right now. So, I'm only going to show you the the basics of adding it. I'm uh, first of all, I'm going to go to the menu, and I'm clicking on main menu. And right now I have Latoya here. I'm going to unpublish Latoya because I made a Latoya playlist on use on the on YouTube. Now I click on new. I'm going to click on select and then I go scroll down. Let's see use YouTube. Then I have the user tube full page here. Then I add Atoya. Atoya. Jackson. And I'm going to options. And here I have to add the playlist. URL. Now I need to go to my YouTube channel here and then I click on playlist. I'm going to look for Latoya which is this playlist and I'm going to select everything behind the list stuff so I have to select this then I go back to the website and I paste the playlist URL or code. And now I'm going to check number of videos. You can change it to anything you like, and I'm going to choose high resolution. Let's see. Now I have to choose the model assignment. Let's see. That's it. Okay. Let's publish in main. I click on save. And now I want to choose the ordering. So I go to parent item. Let's see. I want the parent item to be the video. I want it to show under the videos. And then I click save. And now it's on the same place as the old page was. I click on save and close. 
Now I go to extensions models and since I already created some some of the models I click the user tube I use this user tube model here I click on save as a copy I call it Latoya I change the channel user playlist URL I click on published and then I go to menu assignment and I look for Latoya Jackson here and because I copied it, it also copies all the settings I've used for the models I already have so you don't have to add the settings each time you want a new module I click on save and close and I'm going back to the website and I'm going to check for videos Latoya And first, I'm, first I have to clean the cage. Video, Latoya. And here it is. And the module is under it. Like you can see. What I also did with the module Yes, let's see. There's an option. Let's see. Manual. Let's see. Order, position on the list, reversed. You can use the actual position on the list but you can also show it reversed. I, I've, I'm showing it reversed because if you do it the normal way it will show off the first video on this page as well so it will be this way the first video it shows would be this one and I rather wanted to show a video on this page instead so that people can browse the videos from the other way around because I first had this model on top and then I decided I wanted it to have in the footer so that's why I made it reversed There are several layouts for the uh, YouTube video, YouTube component. For example, uh, I'm going to show you on the Streetson website, which is uh, where you can download it. YouTube model layout. With a thumb grid. With a slider. Use your model layout with a description. And this is what I've just shown you, the full page layout. This is a thumb title. And then you have the user cube demo menu with, with description layout. I have to tell you this this uh, but this uh, extension costs twenty dollars, but I do think it's worth every bit of it because of what you're getting for it. I hope you liked this tutorial, and I hope you will be, will be back to my channel soon.